Biofilm is a thin, slimy film of bacteria that adheres to any surface. It is estimated that 95% of bacteria existing in nature are in the form of biofilm. Biofilms are a collection of one or more types of microorganisms that can grow on different surfaces. One common example of biofilm is dental plaque, a slimy buildup of bacteria that forms on the surfaces of your teeth. Biofilms are multicellular communities formed by bacteria, and they consist of bacteria that are encased in an extracellular matrix. We all have biofilm, even the most avid Brussels sprossers and rinsers, because it clings to surfaces that are wet. It also happens in nature. You've probably seen on rocks or the bottom of a boat. When brushing, flossing, and rinsing habits are lacking, the biofilm can build up and turn into dental plaque which you may or may not be able to see with your naked eye. Typically it's white or yellow in color, unless it's been there for days and then it may appear orange along the gum line. The longer the biofilm is undisturbed, the thicker it gets and it can irritate your gums and wreak havoc on your body's inflammatory response. When that happens, the gums appear red and swollen. It's known as gingivitis. It's an early stage of gum disease, which is completely reversible when action is taken swiftly to remove the plaque and biofilm. But if left untreated, it can turn into gum disease, cause periodontitis, and it can affect the bone and eventually cause tooth loss. Can biofilm make you sick? It can, because biofilm can make medications not work in people that have biofilm infections. Biofilms can cause a variety of health problems, ranging from gingivitis to common earaches. The presence of biofilm especially in the elderly population, who are the most vulnerable because they lack the manual dexterity to clean their teeth or to remove the plaque off of their teeth and their dentures, which also can cause oral, defect, oral infections called denture stomatitis or pneumonia or COPD. Biofilms are responsible for a number of diseases because a resistance to antibiotics decreases when biofilm is present and it makes it difficult to treat. Biofilms can be good and bad. They do have a beneficial role and that they can decompose and recycle organic material and keep nutrients circulating in the marine biology food chain. Bacteria that form dental plaque in your mouth and biofilm are closely associated with cavity formation and gum disease and they thrive in an acidic or low pH environment. Your pH drops every time you eat and drink. So how can you keep your teeth clean and remove biofilm? By brushing twice daily, flossing, using a water pick, and removing the plaque from your teeth to prevent plaque and tartar from forming. There are all kinds of things you can use between brushing, rinsing, antimicrobial rinses, and different homeopathic things. So click the link below and find out different things that you can use to remove biofilm from your mouth.